guys, I'm so sorry that I'm 49 minutes late. <laughs> I just thought I got all messed up because I always start at five o'clock. So, okay, I'm just starting early. So hopefully everybody's okay with that or early, and by early, I mean 45 minutes late. Um, but yeah, I always start at 4 p.m. my time, which I always think is 5 p.m. Eastern. And I thought, oh, Eastern's like an easy time. I'll just always put Eastern so that way people aren't like, oh, which way is, you know, blah, blah, blah. Um, and I thought that we also had daylight savings time because one of my Alexa alarms was like off an hour. And I was like, oh, it's because it's daylight savings time. So I thought we switched too, but maybe, I don't know what happened, guys. <laughs> I thought we switched. Apparently we didn't, and you guys did. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> so, so sorry if any, well, a ton of people were waiting, and I think they very, uh, you guys are smart, so you, you quickly figured out that I fucked it up, um, and didn't wait for me too long, I hope, but I'm gonna jump right in, uh, 50 minutes behind, and we're just gonna see who was in chat hanging out. We got Dan San says, hi there. Sherry G says, am I early? Question mark. You, you were right on time and I was late. <laughs> Lone Wanderer says, Lone Wanderer 360 says, hey y'all. Uh, three of the samples that I'm drinking tonight are from Lone Wanderer. These little red breast sampler packs. Um, we got DJ Beacon. Cheers. Looking forward to... Some Irish in an hour. Yeah, yeah, he's my patron, so he he knew that we were drinking Irish because I let I let the patrons know. Um, and I also just ate a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. So sorry if I'm like messing with my mouth. Um, what the heck? Am I an hour early? I'm so sorry, guys. I was yeah, 5 p.m. CST rather than the label of 5 p.m. EST. Yeah, so sorry, guys. <laughs> Kevin Campbell made it on time, barely, or made it, well, yes, you barely made it on time, and I was super late. Um, so sorry, guys. We got Mike Franklin in the house. I got your samples freaking all ready to go. So excited. Um, DJ Beacon poured some Blackbush, just in case Blackbush is in here. I'm not doing a blind tonight, guys, because I'm already stressed out. Oh, I need to drink something. I'm already stressed out, because... We're leaving soon for the state, so we're like, we need to pack tonight, and we need to pack tomorrow morning, and da 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 da. And I was like, I don't want to, I don't want to go too long tonight because I still need to pack, and I also can't be hungover tomorrow. Um, so I'll probably just do like a an hour long stream. We'll see how it goes. Um, totally lost my train of thought. I'm, I'm doing so good already, guys. <laughs> uh, John de Lucasine. Yes, I think Shayla didn't take daylight savings into account. You would be right. <laughs> oh, my Franklin kids these days. <laughs> we got Kilco. What is time anyway? I think that's what he was saying. We're just gonna, everybody's agreeing with John de la Cuisine. Blackbush is nice, but nowhere near as enjoyable as Redbreast. Well, we're gonna put that to the test tonight because. Oh, I was talking about how I didn't want to do a blind. I just didn't want the stress. I was like, I just want to drink and hang out with you guys for an hour. And I don't want to be, like, worried about what I'm drinking or if I'm going to get it right or not. Because I probably won't because I suck at blinds. Um, so, yeah, I'm just drinking. And I know what everything is. I'll run it down in just a little bit. What a, What's up? Uh, oh, Kevin Campbell. Hope she isn't stressing over some technical issue. We aren't going anywhere, Shayla. Take your time. Thank you so much, Kevin. Appreciate it. No, I'm just an idiot. <laughs> uh, there we go. DJ Beacon knows what's up. No need to stress. Just pour another and relax and wait for 6 p.m. Yes, it is 6 p.m. Eastern, guys. I Googled it after I saw all these comments. <laughs> uh, Josh Randall, I have a birthday party to go to. Just saying hi. Oh, I'll see you next week. Okay, cool, man. I also have your samples coming. Julie, the legend, like, is in the chat. Hey, Julie. Um, I got your text and frantically, uh, sorry, I didn't respond. I was, she was like, hey, she texted me and was like, what's going on? Why aren't you on? And I was like, shit. <laughs> so um, 
I very quickly scarfed down a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And <laughs> so sorry I didn't respond. Um, there's me. There's me. I'm going to pull up my own chat. <laughs> Did not realize. Sherry G. No worries, Shayla. I appreciate it. Ooh, we got, I think this is a new person. I'm going to, I don't even know. Ute? Ute? Massey? I, I'm just going to go with that. The mash and drum! Jason is in the house. The freaking legend. The coolest whiskey tuber in the game. Uh, we got young Pai Chang. He says, whenever you're ready, take your time. He also recommended a place in Tucson, Arizona called Chiba Hut or something like that. I have it written down in my notion as a place to go visit when i go get up to the state so super excited about that by the way guys i've been trying to eat like vegan vegetarian for a while <sighs> when we get up to the states i'm eating an in and out burger animal style double double every day which was only like four or five days but it's happening i'm ready uh red breast tonight yeah we got red breast lestau 15 and the 12. That's what we got going. Um, we got Sugar Kitty. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Start. Worst case, everyone joins in 10 minutes. Okay, cool. Yeah, I figure, hey, I'll just say hi to you guys. And I just, like, fucked two, two bunches of people. The guys that were waiting for a while and the people that thought it started at 6 and... Now we're going to miss 10 minutes of the stream, but it's, I'm very, very good at decision making if you guys can't tell. Stay vertical. Skinny jeans suck. Um, boom, 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 we got, hey guy, oh, he's talking to freaking Mash and Drum, Leftover Glenn from last night. Not sure if it's a knob, <laughs> knob pick or old Ezra 7. It's good either way. There you go. Okay. Oh, chat just jumped. Let me get back. Where are we? Shit. Oh, where did, where did I go? Oh, here we are. Okay. Mike Franklin says, no worries. Thanks, Mike. We got Nate, bubble bath bourbon. Freaking DST. Some sort of other time zone. Um, your penalty is to drink more whiskey. I know. I know. It's me. <laughs> uh, SG Flying High says, great shirt, Shayla. Yeah. Just repping. Rep I actually got this in Phoenix. So, how cool is that? Chiba Hut! I cannot wait to eat some pork, you guys. It's gonna be so good. I haven't had pork in way too long. <laughs> Damn real life getting in the way of whiskey drinking. I know, so I, uh, I can't stay as long tonight. I'm probably gonna stay as long tonight just because I miss you guys. And I don't want it to only be an hour, but I also have to pack and it sucks. Um, ah, oh, what the heck, I missed the start. See, gosh dang it. Sorry, guys. I I started early because I felt bad, and it's like I shouldn't have done that because probably all of you guys are waiting for two minutes from now at 4 o'clock, or my time, 4 o'clock. Um, it's just me saying hi to everybody, so don't worry about it. Uh, no stress. Hanging out sounds great. I really need to get some whiskey into my body so that I stop, um freaking out. So, DJ Beacon moved on to Redbreast Small Batch. Is that just the normal 12 here? Or is there a Redbreast Small Batch? Very, very ignorant in general with whiskey, but especially when it comes to Irish, <laughs> I do not know enough yet. But I'm getting four bottles of Irish when I go up, and hopefully I can get a little more educated than I am currently. Oh, who we got? We got, what's happening? Randy Bridges, you're new. What's up? Um, don't know what you're talking about, my brother. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, this guy might be a little bit of a troll. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, Shayla's made a big time. She has trolls. Do I have any, do I have any wrenches in chat? Just, just, uh. I don't know, do we have, we need a wrench? Hold on, let me get into the live stream real quick. We need to wrench, we need to wrench some people. Because we have, we have trolls and 
Julie's like an honorary wrench. She's just a badass, but she doesn't have to do any wrench things. <laughs> so <laughs> I might need to add somebody else. Um, my mom says hi. Oh, we got Whiskey Mountains. Oh, thank you, Whiskey Mountains. Okay. I just, I don't even know who to wrench. I like you all so much. <laughs> um, Sugar Kitty, who's a wrench? Mash and Drum, we need a wrench. John Della Cuisine says, hello, Shayla. Hello, John. I, so, I'm getting John Della Cuisine a bottle of Old Forester... 1920 because he lives in Europe and he cannot get it and he's my patron and I'm going to Spain at some point in hopefully July or August if I can get my coronavirus stick fingers crossed um okay what's oh my gosh chat just jumped oh my gosh there's so many people in my mom. Hi, mom. How's it going? I'm feeling a little stressed driving up to the States. Just, you know, I shouldn't be packing right now, but it's fine. We got Adriana Rodriguez, aka Whiskey Mountains, in the freaking house. If you haven't watched her channel, she's a G. Uh, Whiskey Fancy, so psyched you're gonna... Oh, yes, and you sent me some samples. A bunch of people sent me samples. Thank you to everybody that has sent me some stuff. And I'm gonna bring it all down in my freaking Honda CRV. So excited. <laughs> okay. Uh, Red Breast Small Batch is one of the newer releases. Ah, oh, it's $100 a bottle right now. Hmm, cool. Yeah, not gonna try that one anytime soon. <laughs> um, I don't know if I said, I'm pretty sure I said hi. Removed, thank you. Super Adriana to the rescue. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, we got Mr. Chris. Hot buttery rolls, freaking in chat. So me, okay, this is a little announcement, guys. Mike Klein, hot buttery rolls, Trev the Bourbon Wrench Wilson. I'm sending, I'm going to deliver them some scotch, and we are going to go through a scotch flight, and I'm so excited about it. So they're all going to get to try, hopefully, some scotches that they've never tried before. Maybe they'll find one they like. I don't know. We got a wrench in the house, Whiskey Mountains. I need to wrench more of you. Um, oh my God, Chad's jumping so far. Oh my gosh, there's so many people in. I feel like, like a, I don't know, like a whiskey celebrity or something right now. John DeLuzine, I'm so excited. Dude, I wish I could actually go there and like meet you with it. That would be awesome. One day, though, because I just got to go there. Um, uh, do, 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 do. Now show all the tags. Okay. Where in Spain are you going? Going to Valencia. That's the plan. Uh, we got Uni, Uni V Poke. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Um, what's up? Best autocorrect ever. Not sure what you're talking about. Oh, Mike Franklin sent me a super chat. Thank you. Uh, don't feel bad. Uh, it's not like you kicked a puppy or broke a bottle doing a bottle flip. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, thanks, man. Um, oh, I forgot to put the little thing. It It's supposed to come up on here, and I, I disabled it because it was freaking out last week. Um, Mash and Drum is saying hello to the sexy beast that is Chris. Uh... Lone Wanderer, Glenmore G18 on sale for $99, yes or no. That's more than I usually pay for bottles. Mmm. Okay, whiskey folk. What do you think about Glenmore and G18? I love the Glenmore and G Quinto Ruban 14, but I've never tried the 18. Is it finished in anything, or is it just the 10? Like, is it X bourbon for 18 years? I mean, that might be good. 99, though? Hmm. I mean, I think you can get that Quinta Ruban for quite a bit less than that. Like, 70 or something like that. Um, I don't know. 100 for me is, like, astronomical, so um, I'm probably not the right person to ask. But I feel like there's probably better stuff for 99. But it's on sale, so just everybody else. Have you tried Glenmore G18? If you have, tag one wander. Let them know what you think about it. Is it worth $100? Honda's Rock. I would agree.
agree with that. I like my Honda. It's not as comfy. We used to have a super big uh, 2001 or 2002 Chevy Silverado. And that thing, you can't park it down here. That's the issue. It's like way too big. Um, but it was sweet. It had like comfy chairs. It was, it was awesome. Um, we got one more cast. Uh, freaking Whiskey Mountain says so saying like the video. Thank you so much. Uh, scotch, scotch, scotch. Mash and drum, thank you. Quinta Ruban, better than the 18. So, yeah, I think the Quinta Ruban's, like, 70 bucks. It's, like, the best juice ever. Um, <laughs> I really like it. So, if mash and drum is saying it's better, then you know what's up. Uh, Sugar Kitty for 99, that's pretty good. It's usually more than 120, so... Um, do, do, do. I like to watch Matt's smoke wagon private barrel long pour on loop. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know. Okay. I don't know who's a patron of Matt or not, but he put out this freaking two hour, um, like ASMR. I don't even know. It was, I haven't even watched all of it, but I'm watching it like bit by bit. It's pretty awesome. Not finished as far as I can tell. Okay. So it's the 10 year old, but the eight years older. Yeah. I don't know. For me, I just like the finished stuff from them better. Uh, hello. Hello back, all you beautiful folks. Getting ready for dinner and listening along. Sorry if I miss you. No worries, man. We got Cameron Lochner. Hey, Shayla. Sorry I'm late. No worries. I was 50 minutes late, so you're early. <laughs> um, down to the cuisine. I've only had, oh my gosh, guys, I haven't even had a sip. I'm gonna have a sip, guys, because it's gonna, I'm just taking way too long to get through these chats. Okay, so this is the lineup for tonight. We got Jameson in A, Bushmills Black Bush in B, uh, Redbreast 12 in C, Redbreast 15 in D, and the uh, Redbreast Lestau Sherry Finish in E. That's what we got going. And I have not had this. Probably since I reviewed it. It's been a really long time. Okay. Let me just have a sip. Cheers, guys. Hope you're having a dram along with me. Yep. Tastes like Jameson. <laughs> um, I've only had the Quinta Ruban and wasn't a fan. Oh, I really liked the Quinta Ruban. Um, didn't like the Famous Sprouts Ruby Cask or Tomat and Port Cask. Okay. Don't like port finishes. So far, from what I can tell, I really like port finishes, so, um, yeah, just different taste profiles, uh, taste preferences. Okay, Sugar Kitty likes the 18, so, so hard to say. Everybody's, everybody's tastes are so different. Glenmore and G sounds like a brand of really good butter. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> uh, Glenmore and G 18 is delish. Okay. Um, so yeah, I, yeah, it just depends on who you are, I guess. We got Andrew, the Cannon Buchanan, what's up? We got John T, cheer Shayla, yard work, catch it on the replay, no worries, man. Oh man, I'm all caught up. Oh my goodness, guys. Yay. I'm not a big fan on port finishes either. Okay, good to know, because if I ever send you samples, I need to not send you yummy things. No, just kidding. <laughs> okay. Uh, you, Massey says, cheers, Shayla. Cheers. John Del Cuisine's just plowing on that Ben Romick. He just, he just likes Ben Romick. It, I don't know. I haven't tried it. I need to try it. Okay. I'm going to turn the fan on because it's freaking hotter than a mother in here, guys. Hold on. I was all cold because I had the AC on. Uh, bo, bo, bo. we got Bran Bran, Barn Door. Good afternoon, everybody. What's up, you legend? It depends on whether you like a finish or not. Um, I'm another one not so big on port finish either. Okay. So, yeah, I really like the port finish, so I'm biased. Yeah. So, I guess, Lone Wanderer, if you like port finishes, go for the Quinta and just stay over there. I think you've already tried the Quinta I, from what we've talked about. I, I think I remember you trying that. Um, and if you just like straight up X bourbon cask, sounds like it's a pretty 
yummy son of a gun. So, um, also, what's the ABV on that? Just out of curiosity. Um, cool running. Hey, Shayla. Cheers, everybody. How's it going? Old man Joe, sorry that I'm late. Just got back from uh, a very needed haircut. Cheers. You're not late. I'm late, and you're early. Uh, that's how we're rolling with it today. Uh, went to a no new store today. Finally got the uh, early times bottle and bond and kicking chicken. So <laughs> it's bottom shelf hitters this afternoon. Awesome. Uh, I have about three pours left in the bottle. We'll be sad to see it go, but it's an easy one to replace. Yeah, I've like pretty much every time I've chatted with you, you've been drinking Ben Romick 10. I'm pretty sure. Um, Jerry Miller, hi, finally made a live stream, uh, delivery day here, four more bottles I didn't really need, <laughs> but if it was about what I need, I'd pay the mortgage, there you go, <laughs> that's awesome, Bev Porter, we got Mama Bev in the house, Matt Porter's lovely mom, hey Shayla, have missed being in your stream, yeah, I'm, I'm running 50 minutes late tonight, so this might be a better time for for you. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Whiskey Mountain, sorry, can you tell us what's in the flight again? Yeah, okay. So we got Jameson in A. We got Bushmills Blackbush in B. We got Redbreast 12 in C. We got Redbreast 15 in D. And we got Redbreast Lestow Sherry Finished in E. Hopefully that was slow enough. I know when I'm a mod and I'm like trying to type and people are like saying stuff way too fast. Um, we got Joe the Simple watching from Manila, Philippines. Wow. Have you tried J&B Scotch Whiskey? I have not, but I've seen it on the shelf. I've just never, never picked it up before. But how's it going? Okay, we got 40 people in chat. Let me get a little sip of my, my ginger ale, and um, we'll go to B real quick. So, obviously I'm going to be biased because I know what these are, but I don't care tonight. I just, I just want it to be a little easy. <laughs> so, I always get a metallic note on Jameson. I think that's from the grain whiskey that's in it. Um... And I did do these uh, blind beforehand. I just wanted to see. And I did still get that metallic note. So. But it's got like a really nice kind of shortbread cookie. A little bit of lemon kind of thing. But yeah. Just. It's funny because this is the whiskey. Jameson is the whiskey that got me into whiskey not like got me in i guess it was the first whiskey i tried it's not the one that like blew my mind and got me like deep down the rabbit hole but it's the first one i tried um but it's not really my jam anymore i just it's just not my jam okay let's see beth higgins says don't don't what <laughs> Oh, don't try J&B Scotch, maybe? That's what you're talking about? <laughs> uh, Mash and Drum. Glen Morangy has a nice range of finishes. The Port, La Santa, yeah, Nectar Dior, yep. Yeah, I have this little, I have this little, meh, this little sampler pack guy. My Nectar Dior is not in there, but um, I just love this thing. It's like 33 bucks at Total Wine, and you get to try a bourbon cask, a sherry cask, a port cask, and a Sauternes cask. Like, that's cool. I don't know. Pretty neat. Young Pai Chang saying hi to Mama Bev. We got Julielle saying, do you want me to send do you want me to send you a cardboard cutout of my do you want me to send you cardboard cutouts of my husband so he can be hanging out on your shelves? No worries. Julia, I already got I got two dams. I got oh man, I can't do this. <laughs> it's backwards, so my brain is not working right now. But I got a Danana Buddha just hanging out, and then I got a Danana whatever, just lounging. Um, <laughs> no, those just made me so happy, and I was like, they, they were on there, um, because I was messing with some stuff on OBS, and I was like, fuck it, I'm just leaving them up tonight. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, we have Matthew Parks. Hey, Shayla. Cheers. Drinking the new Makers 2021 release. Okay, so is that one of the, like, SE4 PR5, like, the wood finishing series or whatever it is? Um, I'm not hip with Makers and the, the going-ons of Makers, so uh, let me know what that is. Me too. Shots of Jameson was my first encounter with whiskey. Yeah, so I wasn't a big, like, I'm definitely not a partier, like, just never was, never will be. Um, I'm, like, a person that, like, goes to bed at 8 o'clock. I mean, not really, but, like, I, I stay up too late sometimes, but it's never because I'm, like, partying. It's because I, like, can't fall asleep. <laughs> um, but mine was just, like, a sip. So I had, I ordered Jameson, came in a little shot glass, but then I didn't want to, like, shoot it back, so I just, like, sipped on it with an angry orchard that was my first like whiskey experience um boop -a -doop -a -doo. whiskey mountains uh oh okay you're talking to matthew parks uh what is sauterne sauterne is a type of french wine don't quote me on that <laughs> no but i think it's i think it's a type of french wine i've never actually had the wine um but i think it's like a dessert wine like a super sweet kind of thing um, yeah. <laughs> Julia, yeah, but they go away when your computer is off. That's true. You probably should. You probably should. <laughs> oh, that's so awesome. Okay, um, I'm losing my train of thought here. Okay. So, yeah, this one's nice. It smells way better than it tastes, like, it, there's, like, a little sweet kind of caramel note, a little bit bread you know, shortbread cookie kind of thing, but the palette just, to me, it's just kind of, like, metallic-y kind of grain, young, you know. Young whiskey. Man, I'm, like, getting stuffed up, like, midstream, guys. We got Richie Z's in. What's up? <clears throat> okay. So, let's go to Glass Beat. So, Bushmills Black Bush has been not my favorite Irish, because I, I don't even have enough Irish to, like, say that I have a favorite. Um, but I just liked it a lot more than Jameson. I think it's got an 80-20 mix in terms of, like, grain to malt. Um, so I think it's 80% malt, 20% grain. I think it's 70-30 on the sherry. Um... Sherry to bourbon, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, it just smells, it smells more rich. I don't know. It just, uh, it just smells so much better. Uh, Bev Porter, uh, oh, you're right on what Saturn is. Okay, okay, cool. Yeah, so some sort of French dessert wine that's super sweet. Okay. Yeah, this one has just, like, some dried fruits, a little bit of orange. It definitely smells maltier, which I like. Yeah, that's pretty good. I mean, it's weird, because that was one of the first whiskeys. Like, when I started the channel, I only had, like, four bottles, and that was one of them. And I thought that, that was, like, the cat's pajamas. I was like, this is the best thing ever. And now, very fortunately, I've had a lot of other awesome whiskeys. And so this one is just kind of falling a little bit flat. I mean, it's definitely better than the Jameson's for sure. But um, just for my palate right now, falling a little bit flat. But man, guys, I'm like getting stuffed up as we're talking. I don't know what's going on. Um, I missed something. Somebody sent me something. I wanted to read it, and I don't remember what it was. Dang it. Um, oh, we got Whiskey Mountains. Want to support Shayla and her channel a bit more? Become a patron. Oh, so Adriana just left the link for my Patreon. If you want to see behind the scenes and me do little lens clips, and I put out a new little Patreon video, and you get these cool coins if you're a uh, uh, the seven dollar patron but yeah for uh three dollars you can become a patron and you get like 
live streams and um, the $15 tier gets like hangouts and there's t-shirts and Glen Karens and all that jazz. I'm making Glen Karens right now. So sorry, Julie, by the way. Julie is my only Glen Karen Baron, just a G rocking it out. And um, I just, there's been a huge delay with the glassware. They didn't have any. And then I had an order in and then they canceled my order. And so I had to make a new order and it was kind of a mess, but they're making them right now. And I haven't gotten an email back on when they'll be ready, but soon they'll be ready and you will get a flight uh, of glasses, Julie. Um, okay, where are we at? Everybody's saying hi to everybody else. Cool, that's how chat works. Um, and you get, yeah, if you wanna see my cute dogs, like my Rottweiler and my Pitbull and my little shorty Bulldog, um, I sometimes put them on my lens. And if you want to see me eat, or not eat, but like, I mean, if you want to see me like a picture of my In-N-Out burger so that you have insane jealousy, you can do that too. But yeah, I do lenses and video clips and all that jazz. Um, kid, Sugar Kitty does not wear pajamas. So the term cat's pajamas does not apply to him. Okay. <laughs> um... Oh, John DeLuzine. So he is my patron. Um, and he, uh, I sent them to the Netherlands and he just got his. So I'm super jazzed that they actually like made it to him. So the coins are super cool. Just got mine this week. Thank you, man. Um, boo, boo, boo. Julielle, please don't worry about it. I'm trying not to. It's like, it's out of my control. So I'm like, I'm really not good with that shit, guys. Like, Controlling is, like, my forte. <laughs> um, so I've been stressing out about it a little bit. But um, I know that you're just the most patient, wonderful person ever. So it's making it less worrisome. <laughs> uh, sugar Kitty, yep. Cool coins for sure. Yeah, you just got your coin too. Yeah, G. Okay. So, yeah, Bushmills is better. The Bushmills Black Bush. I think I like the Bushmills Black Bush better than the original. Uh, white label. Man, I'm getting stuffed up. I don't know if you guys can hear it. I hope not. Um, I sound like a freaking, I don't know, weirdo. Okay. So now we're going to go on to Redbreast 12. I probably should put these in order for myself so I know what's up. Um, so yeah, Redbreast 12, triple distilled Irish whiskey. And it's made from malted and unmalted barley and potentially 5% other grains. But I think it's just malted and unmalted barley and they choose not to do the 5% other grains. But I had red breast cast strength at a bar um, and I don't know, it was like good, but I think if you have a bottle and you can like let it kind of develop, it's different than just having like one dram at a bar, you know? Um, it was good, but I, I heard so many good things about it that it was, like, kind of underwhelming. I think I had too much of an expectation in my head of, like, this is going to be the shit. <laughs> and it kind of was, like, this is good, but it's not, like, it's not scotch, you know? <laughs> um, yeah. Good things take time. Those freaking glasses better turn out or I'm going to I'm gonna hurt somebody. <laughs> okay. So yeah, this, man, I'm getting stuffed up. So sorry, guys. Fuck. I don't know what's going on. Okay. Um, this one's, like, very biscuity. Like, this one's a little bit biscuity, but this one smells super biscuity. <laughs> my mom said, hurry up or I'm going to leave you at Walmart. <laughs> oh, my gosh. John Lucasine, Red Breast 12 is my favorite Irish I've ever had. I haven't even tried the cast strength or 15 yet. Wow. Yeah, I got this. I don't know if you can get these little sampler packs over there, John, but um, uh, Lone Wanderer sent me this little sampler pack that has the 12 and 15 in the sherry. So, okay, this is your favorite. So we're going to see what's up here. Yeah, it smells very light. Probably just a little bit of that triple dis distillation. 
Uh, I haven't had any triple distilled, haven't had any Irish um, in a very long time, so not super used to it right now. That's good. I do like it. I just, man, I mean, I don't want to hate on Irish. Um, and, the, you know, I'm not experienced enough to actually make a full on opinion, but it just isn't as good as Scotch or bourbon for me. I don't know. Does anybody have, or is anybody in the chat like their favorite is Irish? Like, let me know. But Scotch and bourbon just, they seem to have much more flavor going on they pack more of a punch i don't know like even like i know this is 40 percent, right yeah this is 40 percent. but like a 40 percent aberfeldy i feel like it has more going on than that like it's nice and soft it, it tastes good uh has a decent texture on the palate but it just doesn't have like i don't know um just what i would hope for i guess Old Man Joe found some Glendola double barrel. It's very unique. I enjoy it as much as Red Rust 12. Okay. Bubble Bath Bourbon. My favorite Irish is Connemara. So not really on brand for Irish. Yeah, so a peated Irish. Um, I, I guess more peated Irish, Irish whiskeys are coming out now, though. So it might kind of be just like... I feel like with Irish, you can never really say, like, it is one thing or it is another thing. I feel like... Kind of like with every, you know, Scotch region, like, you know, there's unpeated Islas, there's peated Islas, there's peated Highlands, peated space sides, you know, like, I think the, the regions are, they're important, but I think they're becoming maybe a little slightly less relevant just because everybody is trying to do everything. So, uh, let's see here. What's up? Uh, yeah, where's Donald Brands? I know, he loves Irish whiskey. He told me about, like, uh, I'm going to pronounce this wrong. I think it's Turconnell, Turconnell, Triconnell, Turconnell. Um, but, yeah, he definitely does uh, love Irish for sure. All the whiskey, all the Irish I like are finished or the older single malts. Okay, otherwise they're very plain. Yeah, I, I think that's a good, a good word for it, and I feel bad because... I know some people just love that. And to be fair, this is a sample. And maybe if you have a bottle, I don't know, I feel like a bottle really kind of changes over time. Like when I first had this Klein Leash, I was like, what is everybody on about? Like, who gives a shit? I mean, it was good, but it like people were like raving about it. And then I've poured a bunch of samples. I have not drank this much, but, um, you know, it got down and then I had another dram of it and I was like oh and it kind of you know it just opened up so hard to say like this is the neck pour potentially right like if you're thinking about this as a completely sealed bottle I'm only gonna get the neck pour out of it I'm not gonna get the maybe the oxidation later on so this might be an unfair comparison oh well we're drinking Irish <laughs> um what, what else do we have? Just finished my bottle of Connemara yesterday. That is one that I plan on getting up in the States. Um, it's hard. So patrons, let me know. Because I always have my patrons vote, unless my Wi-Fi doesn't work. You guys know what I'm talking about. But <laughs> I always have my patrons vote on what they want me to buy. And I have this kind of list of things that I want to buy. And so I'm not sure if I should maybe let you guys pick, like, the top 20 of those or the top 10 of those. This is going to be a big expensive trip up because I just can't get that much bourbon. Uh, I can't get any bourbon down here. All the bourbon that I have is the bourbon that they sell down here. So maybe I could let you guys pick like the top 20 or top 10 or something like that. I don't know. We'll have to figure it out. But okay, now we're going on to Red Breast 15, which I think is higher. Yeah, this is 46%. So I should be getting a little bit more, hopefully a little bit more going on. Oh yeah, that one smells way better. Um, I don't want to miss anything. Uh, hold on guys. Young Pie Chang, the only Irish I've had was, oh nice, blue spot sample Trev sent me. 
I did pick up, oh, I did pick up a classic Lottie before I saw your review. Cool. Okay. I have heard, Young Pai Chang, that people, so mine was a 2015 bottle, almost exclusively ex-bourbon cask matured. Best thing you'll ever taste in your life. The new bottles from Adam Hannett, though, have more wine cask finish on them. So your bottle might not like, might not taste anything like my bottle. So sorry if um, that is the case. Um, and it might be awesome still. I have no idea. I haven't tried um, an Adam an Adam Hannett bottle, but um, <laughs> that's a creepy pair of bookends on your shelf. I don't know about that. I think they're pretty dope. <laughs> um, uh, Bubble Bath Bourbon, spoiler. Oh, there's some Connemara samples in those samples I hand-delivered waiting for you. Oh, my gosh. Well, that's awesome because I'll get to try it before I buy it, which is pretty exciting. But um, so far, I've liked Pete, so I'm I'm looking forward to to trying those. Oh, yay. Cool. Oh, I said pass, not pick up. Sorry. Oh, my gosh. I can't read anything. I did pass up a classic Lottie before I saw your review. I'm basically dyslexic, especially when there's chat and whiskey going. So sorry about that. So this one smells way more interesting. It's got way more like spice, like oak spice, baking spice. Yeah, I like it a lot more than 12 so far, just on the nose anyway. Mm. Okay, that's what's up. 15 is way better than 12. Or at least in my opinion. Like if 12, the cast strength 12, if I did let it sit, I think would be way better. Um, just at 40%, it's just like meh. Like, but 15 at 46%, got a little bit more spice going on, a little bit more texture, a uh, little bit of a longer finish. So yeah, I like 15 more than 12 for sure. Um, so John de la Cuisine, I have not been hitting this. So I have in my car right now, I have like 40 or 50 samples for blind flights and patrons and just random people. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so I've only had like two or three drams out of this and the rest have been samples. So as Aquavite would say, it's not whiskey until it's shared. So um, I think that a lot of, I, I hope <laughs> that a lot of bourbon drinkers, drinkers will like this. So I put it in some blinds for some bourbon drinkers. And I think I gave, I'm doing Maddie is getting some of this and Julie uh, is getting some of this in their flights. So um, yeah, I send, I'm sending a lot of this out, so I'm not getting through it, but it is delicious. Um, I do love it. Um, it's one of my favorites right now. So I was also kind of bummed though, because it is delicious, but I was thinking it would have way more of a coastal influence. Like it definitely has a little bit of a coastal influence, but not as much as I was hoping for, uh, for sure. Uh, Kilco says my streams are basically people watching me mentally fall down a flight of stairs <laughs> while trying to drink whiskey. Yes. Uh, whiskey fancies. How long will be, how long, let me just try that again. <laughs> how long will you be in the U S I'm actually only going to be in the U S for like five days or something like that. I think we get in like full days. I think 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So, so six six ish five to six days ish um not that long so normally sorry i'm boring the shit out of you guys probably normally we take two 12 hour car rides like we drive we get there in two days so we do two 12 hour trips and it sucks and we just like we just want to murder each other <laughs> by the time we get done because i mean it's just like it, driving that long is exhausting and stressful and you don't really get to eat very good food because you're on the road and you're trying to get there before sundown and stuff and it's just it's just a mess so um this time we're taking four days each way so we'll just have these tiny little five six hour chunks it won't be bad at all we'll get to stop and take breaks um so but that also means sadly less time in the states so it'll be a very quick trip for sure 
Kevin Campbell says, I got the, uh, I'm not even going to be able to say that, the Nepog, nope, I'm so sorry, Castle 12 and 14. Don't know if those are good, bad, or other compared to the other bottles with my lack of Irish experience. I don't even know how to pronounce what you are drinking, so. <laughs> um, but if anybody's had those, uh, let them know what you think. Uh, Beth Porter, gotta run. Have a great night, everybody. Thanks, Bev, for stopping in. Appreciate you. Um, oh, what do, what do? We got John Dilla Cuisine. Sorry, guys. I keep making these weird noises. <laughs> I'm going a little bit crazy tonight. I'll, like, I mean, I'm, I'm here, but my mind is kind of, like, thinking about my packing list <laughs> and what I have to pack. Um, but it's all good. It'll get done. It's fine. Uh, I'm staying up late watching the UFC fight anyway, so it's not a big deal. Um, it's been a while since I had a bottle, uh, but it's a very special one for sure. Are you talking about the Red Breast 12? Um, oh gosh, Chad just jumped. Lone Wander, I picked up a Sexton today after hearing several people say it was good. I just think that bottle looks cool. I really, I don't know if it's any good, but I do want to try it. Uh, movies lied to us. Road trips aren't fun. <laughs> yeah. Like, I think a slow road trip is maybe fun, but yeah. Sounds m miserable. I used to drive all night and the next day out to Arizona like that. Then jet lagged and tired. Yeah. Pissed off for the whole next day. Yeah. So I'm trying to prevent that because we just get into this like kind of mood and we're just like grumpy, you know, and I don't like that. So, um, just, to oh, Taylor. Oh. Uh, this is one of my new patrons running a bit late for a short stream. No worries. Um, I'm probably going to go a little bit longer. It's taken me forever to drink through them once. So Carlo Mac. Hello, everybody. Sorry. I'm late to the party. No worries. Nap poke. Nap poke. Okay. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> I literally just quoted you on that. <laughs> uh, do you want to try a sample of blue spot? Hell yeah. I want to try a sample of blue spot. I'll try a sample of anything. Um, freaking, I'm, I want to get a bottle of green spot when I'm there, but yeah, I would love to try it. It's like, blue spot's got like crazy old Madeira cask stuff in there. Yeah. Okay. What's up here? We got womb stretch up. Did you see that poor girl pass out of the weigh-ins? Yeah. Oh my God. I'm like, this is why weight cuts in the UFC should not happen. There should be same day weigh-ins. Like, I don't think it's healthy for for people to be uh, cutting weight like that. Clearly, it's not. People almost die like every time. They look like skeletons. Oh my mom! Oh god! <laughs> uh, this is this is normal for Shayla to freak out before traveling. The problem she waits until the very last minute. Well, the problem is if I. It's like clothes are the issue. Like everything else is packed. But clothes are the issue. Like, you have to wear clothes and wash the clothes and also pack the same clothes that you're going to be wearing. Maybe I just don't have enough clothes. I don't know. Um, but I used to pack a couple weeks before, and then I'm always, like, getting stuff out, you know. So I try to wait till the last second so I'm not, like, putting stuff in, taking it out, putting stuff in, taking it out. But, yeah. Um, but, yeah, I'm pretty much a mess. <laughs> Uh, do, do, do. Very cool bottle. Yeah, the Sexton. Okay, fairly simple liquid. Similar to Bushmills. Okay. Mom telling on me again. No, it's all good. <laughs> Hashtag Chris Leaks. <laughs> we got some WikiLeaks going, guys. <laughs> I'm guilty of being a last minute person, too. I usually am, or I like, I don't know. I like to be 15 minutes early. Like, I'm definitely not a person that runs late, but... I have a checklist and I hate marking stuff off and then having to unmark it to take it out to use it. And so I am waiting till the last minute because I feel like that makes me forget less stuff. But yeah. Mom says, you need more clothes. I roll. I only have like, so <laughs> I go shopping every time that I'm with my mom pretty much. But then I only end up wearing, like, two things. So, <laughs> um, I always try to get, like, cute stuff, and then I never wear it. Um, my mom has, like, style, and I don't have style. My little sister also has style. Okay, let's dial Sherry. Let's go for it. Let's see what we got. This one's most the best out of all of them. Kevin Campbell knows what's up. <laughs> that means 
she's good under pressure. <laughs> yeah. And then time zones on top of it. It's, yeah, I'm a mess. Okay. Mmm. That one's really good, too. What is that? Yeah, that's 46% as well. I think 46% and above red breast. Heck yeah. 40%. Heck no. We got Swagner, Swags, the mash bill. Um, make sure to video all the stuff. Yes, you got in the AZ mail. Looking forward to it. So, I don't... Okay, this is the weird thing. So, a bunch of you guys delivered stuff to my sister-in-law's. And so I want to do a live stream, like, opening all of it, or kind of, like, semi-opening all of it, um, and then drinking some of it. That's what I did when I was at my mom's. Is that, like, a douche move? Because I'm not trying to be a douche. I'm, like, excited about it. I'm, like, very thankful and happy um, that I have the opportunity to try these things. But not everybody has the opportunity to try those things. So should I... Should I unbox everything? Should that be a patron-only thing? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Because um, I I don't feel like it's douchey, but I feel like I could understand how somebody would think it was. You know what I mean? Um, you and I are a lot alike. My mom and brother have style. Yeah, give me the jeans and t-shirt every time. I know. Like, I... So, okay. This is going to show you guys, like, how dorky I look most days. <laughs> I wear Eddie Bauer shorts, like Eddie Bauer, I think they're called like Trek Ascent or something. I'm wearing the Eddie Bauer capris right now, but they're basically like, like hiking shorts. Um, I wear hiking shorts and a t-shirt. That's basically it. My mom bought me Amazon Basics t-shirts, like a black one and a kind of a stripy gray brown one. I don't know. It looks cool. But that's all I wear. Like I wear the v-necks that are gray and then I wear the two t-shirts. And I bought more of those t-shirts because I'm like, I'm just, I'm going to become Matt Diavella, guys. Like I just wear the same thing every day and I don't have to worry about it. I think that's better. <laughs> um, Okay. Ah, damn it. The chat just jumped. Hold on. Where are we at? Where are we at? Uh, you just need to drink more. <laughs> Mom, you just need to drink more and it'll all come together. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, today, <laughs> a couple of times I've been like, I need to drink, but I'm also like, I need to do shit so I can't drink. But yeah. Um, <laughs> okay. Does Mexico have DST? We are changing next week. So I need to pay attention. No, we're, I don't know. We're on like central time. Like, I'm in the same time zone as Texas. Uh, pretty sure. <laughs> okay, so when I normally start my streams at 5 p.m. Eastern, it's 4 p.m. here. And so it was 4 p.m. when I started this stream, but it's it was 6 p.m. Eastern, if that helps you figure out what my time zone is. I don't know what it is. Pretty sure it's central. Um... Carlo Mac, my favorite Irish is Egan's Fortitude. Exclusively, aged exclusively in Pedro Jimenez Sherry Cask. Non-chill filtered bottle at 46%. So probably, well, hopefully non-colored as well. Um, probably because it's PX Sherry Cask. So there's going to be plenty of color to go around. Um, cool. That one sounds delicious. Uh, old Man Joe. Okay. He says no do it. So not douchey. We'll go. Uh-huh, I know. <laughs> Bernie's telling me that we have time zones, which I know. <laughs> um, alcohol, the solution to and cause of most of life's problems. Okay, our time change happens in April. That's why we're different. I'm like, I knew, I know that we changed times. We just must have not done it. Mike Franklin. Okay, everybody's saying do it, not douchey. Okay. <laughs> ADHD whiskey. If unboxing whiskey on camera is douchey, consider me Sean Paisley. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. I just wanted to make sure because I felt like I just feel super lucky and I'm like, I know not everybody is 
as lucky as I am. So I didn't want to be like, whoa, look at this bottle of Lagavulin. And people are like, I can't even buy Lagavulin. You know, like, I don't know. So, okay, cool. But people are saying it's fine. So we're going to go with it. So that'll be the live stream when I get there. On Saturday, the 27th, we're going to freaking do that. Um, yeah, that's what I thought. I'm like, the people that sent me stuff, I want them to see how excited I am, you know? Um, so, yeah, I guess if people don't like it, they can suck it. <laughs> um, young Pai Chang, I wear Dickies work shirts and pants the same color. Yeah, it's like, that's just the way to live life. You never have to worry about anything. Are they jorts or khakis? <laughs> they're, no, they're not jorts. They're not jean shorts. I do have jean shorts, though. Like, that probably tells you <laughs> way more than you want to know about me. But, um, oh, my gosh. That's funny. Yeah, so I have I have a couple pairs of jorts, jean shorts. Um, they're super comfy, though. That's the problem, guys. Like, <laughs> they don't look good. They don't <laughs> look attractive ever. But um, they're comfy, so who cares? Um but yeah, I wear Eddie Bauer. They're like, they're like a, I don't know what kind of fabric they are. They're like, they're not athletic, but they're not jeans. They're like some sort of blend. I don't know. I'll let you know next week. I don't think anybody would ever call you douchey. ADHD whiskey. Agreed. He's pretty dope. I think people would call him dope. Um, okay, for real, I would have been a horsey chaser and never have known about the good bottles in my area if it weren't for Jason and then Matt. Stream it. There we go. Okay, awesome. We changed the last week of March. Okay, so everybody changes at different times. That's the problem. Um, oh, you're the opposite of douchey. I appreciate it. Thank you. Old oh, Mandrosa, suck it, everybody. <laughs> Imagine wearing pants. Pfft. Yeah, I own one pair of pants, and I only wear them when I go to my mom's. <laughs> Julielle, gotta go. See you later. Oh, wait. See you, Shayla. Text me later. I will. Sorry I didn't text you back when you texted me. I just freaked out and realized I was an hour late, so. Um, okay, groovy guys. Okay, we're 57 minutes in. That's not too bad. I might just taste through these one more time. This one smells awesome. The La Salle, the sherry finish. I don't know how long it's finished for, but yeah, that one I feel like is, and it doesn't have an age statement. So it's, it, it's probably younger than 12 years. Um, so, but it, it tastes really nice. It's got like the balance or the the kind of the spiciness of the 15 but then obviously it's got a little bit of sherry influence so i think the lestau and the 15 are like head and shoulders above the 12 um for me personally just because this one's at 40 percent sorry i'm drinking the lestau finish somebody asked what i was drinking what's she drinking the lestau yes uh, Puerto Rico doesn't do daylight savings at all. It confuses the heck out of me. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Jameson, Bushmills Blackbush, Red Rust 12, Red Rust 15, Lestout finish. Yes. Yeah, I know. People, and then, like, Arizona doesn't do daylight savings times, right? So, it's just a mess, guys. Like, I don't, I don't think it's, like, necessary anymore, right? Because... We have light. <laughs> we have electricity. Like, I I understand before electricity, but I don't really understand why it happens now. But I'm an idiot, so. <laughs> um, okay, uh, Taylor. Okay, I've yet to get the list out. Can't find it anywhere near me. $80. Haven't pulled the trigger. Oh, I can find it everywhere near me. $80. Again, guys, I'm dyslexic. Uh, just haven't pulled the trigger yet. So, yeah, man, $80 for this, though? Oof. I mean, it's good, but... Man, I don't think that's worth $80, though. I didn't realize how expensive that was per bottle. I mean, it's good, 
I, I really like the 15 and I like the Sal. I think both of those would be good. But at that price, I feel like there's probably other stuff that's way better. Yeah, that 15 is really nice, though. Yeah, I like those the best for sure. Okay, guys, we're an hour in. Uh, Bourbon Baller, Bushmill 16, is my choice for Irish. Never had it. I think it's, like, also, like, $200 or something crazy like that. Uh, I kind of want to try the bottles that some of these are finished in. I've seen La Stau, Chateau de la Baude, or Chateau de la Baude. <laughs> I think that's how ADHD says it. <laughs> um, yeah, so if anybody has ever tried them, yeah, I think that would be really interesting. I want to I wanna do that maybe one night, like, have some PX sherry, have some, you know, just try what the whiskeys are finished in to see what the whiskeys get from those casks. I think it'd be really interesting. But Carla Mack, the 15 is over a hundred near me. God damn. I don't think these are worth what they're charging. Maybe I'm just not that big of a fan of Irish. I don't know. Again, these are neck pours um, from samples, not a full bottle with oxidation. So, but yeah, I mean, that's good, but it's not $100 good. It's hard to say. I do like both of these. I would not buy them for those prices. That sounds crazy to me. Um, I could get five bottles of Wild Turkey 101. <laughs> um Okay, let's see. I've actually had sherry from Lestau. It tastes nothing like the red breast. Okay, good to know. Okay, red breast. Okay, Lestau for 58. That's maybe a little more up up the alley. That wouldn't be that bad. I think yeah, this maybe $60. That's probably that's probably not too shabby. It smells really nice. I, I think, yeah, maybe this for like 60 bucks wouldn't be too bad. But like 80, 100, that would be, I don't know, that's too much. That being said, if you want to try it, try it. You know, if, if you don't think that's too much, uh, then just go for it. Uh, Irish seems higher around me than anything else. Um, RB, red, so Red Rose 12 for 70, Cast Strength for 90, I have one of each, okay. I feel like Cast Strength is worth it though, right? Because you can, I mean, most people maybe don't dilute it, but I understand a Cast Strength whiskey being that expensive, but a non-age stated, you know, 46%, I don't understand that being $80, um. But maybe less style barrels are super expensive. Hard to say. But yeah, the cast strength I feel like would be good. Uh, down the scene. Uh, Red Breast 15 is about 65 euros and the stout is 50. So I would, that would be fine, right? Um, I had to pay $100 for Red Breast cast strength. Oh, thanks to our ridiculous, uh, yeah. Washington is like literally the worst in for that, in terms of that. Like everything else, it's awesome, but. Yeah, going to a sherry bodega, I know. So, um, Jerez de la Frontera is, like, where a lot of sherry is made. And I think that'd be so cool. Like, I'm going to be in Spain. It'd be cool to, like, go to a bodega and really see, like, what it's about. And I used to work at a vineyard, so I feel like it's kind of, I don't know, it'd be nostalgic. I think it'd be cool. Okay, guys. So, yeah, I think Jameson is not very good. Bushmills, Black Bush, is better than that. Red Breast 12 is, at least for this neck pour, slightly maybe overrated. Uh, 15 has more spice than 12, and I think it's better, especially because it's got a 46% alcohol strength, so a little bit more texture and flavor. And then the Lestau, even though it's not age-stated, I think it's pretty damn good. I really like the sherry finish on it. 
So I think these are a little too expensive, but if they were on sale, I would buy either one of these. That's the, the roundup for that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so we're not going to be in Andalusia for our trip for, for this time, but it's such a short drive away or train ride away or whatever that I think it'd be fine. Oh, cool. You go there on vacation? That's awesome. Nice. Oh, that is so cool. Yeah, I've seen the inside of uh, just photos of some bodegas and it's like, oh, this is so awesome. So I think it'd be really cool. And I think it might be fun, like when I go to Scotland to like, a as much as possible, be able to film that stuff and show you guys, maybe show you Sherry Bodega kind of stuff. I think it'd be kind of neat, you know, a little different than just my regular kind of like reviews, but yeah, I get, yeah, you're totally right, Adriana. Yeah, I guess my ranking would be this way. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> Red Breast 27 is 500. <laughs> I'll never know what it tastes like. Yeah. Oh my god. It's probably wonderful, but how ridiculous. I mean, it's not ridiculous. It's a 27-year-old whiskey that's going to be, you know, you lose a ton of money uh, to the angel's share for putting that out, so... I get it, but yeah, never will be able to afford a bottle like that, I don't think. And if I can, it would only be because of you guys, so I'd be sharing it. <laughs> mm. Yeah, the list out is really nice. I dig it. Okay, guys, we're an hour and six minutes in. I'm so sorry, but I do have to go because I need to pack, and I also don't want to get Shay Lambert because I don't want to be Shay hungover tomorrow. Um, <laughs> but this was super fun. Oh, any interest in rye whiskey, young pie Chen? Heck yeah, I love rye whiskey. I'm a wonderful, where is it? Where is it? Okay, so I have only had probably four drams off of this bottle. The rest have been samples that I've sent to you guys, to my patrons. But this bottle that Maddie sent me from ADHD Whiskey, uh, the Willet, I absolutely love this stuff, and it is sadly on the tail end. It's almost, it's not almost gone, but it's its getting down there. Uh, but yeah, I really like rye whiskey. I like, or at least I, I like the ones that I've tried. I'm definitely not as experienced with rye as I am with scotch or with bourbon. But yeah, I've got a couple of ryes, and I really like them. Uh, I just can't get much rye down here, so yeah. If I ever spent that much on a bottle, uh, that's what it'd be. Oh, you would you would get the red breast if you could. If you had that much money to spend, you'd get the red breast 27. Yeah. I mean, yeah, what else are you going to get? I guess maybe if you could get it, like, some WLW or George T. Stag or something like that, maybe. Um, I know those go for, for quite a bit. Oh, wow. One of my colleagues got a Red Rust 27 as a gift from a client. Oh, and he doesn't even care about whiskey. Won't sell it, though. Oh, so sad. That's that's the most bummer thing ever. When, uh, like, we were talking to somebody and they were they were getting a pappy. And they, or they were, like, planning on getting a pappy. And they get a pappy every year. They pay the, these kids to um, stand in line. And, and they buy a bottle of pappy. But I don't think he ever drinks it. And it's so sad because it's like, oh man. I mean, I don't know. To me, I would drink, I, I drink the stuff I buy. I'm not a collector. Um, so yeah, it's sad when stuff like that, uh, I don't know, doesn't work out. John de Cuisine, oh, sent me five bureaus. Thanks. Uh, fun, chill stream, Shayla. Safe travels. Thank you so much. I'm going to be freaking lensing the crap out of Patreon and I'll probably be lensing every day for the next like two weeks uh, because I'm going to be traveling. So Jack, da oh, Jack Daniels Barrel Proof Rye. Oof. Yeah. Dude, I would die. Uh, it sounds so freaking good. And I love Jack Daniels Barrel Proof. So man, 
yeah, nice way to wrap up Irish week. I thought, oh man, like I hope everybody isn't like Irish now. I know every, probably almost every streamer has done an Irish stream this week. And I thought, man, hopefully people aren't like, fuck this. I don't want to watch another Irish stream. Um, but I thought, hey, I haven't done anything for it. Next, next year I'll be more prepared and I'll do probably like a couple of Irish videos, a little Irish history, you know, learn a little bit more about it, but I'm glad you liked it. Um, High West or uh, Redwood? Yeah, I really love Redwood. Um, yeah, you could get some nice scotch for five hundred dollars. Um, do do. I know, like, wouldn't they give you a sample? But they probably won't open it, right? That's that's how people like that are. Uh, for 500 I would get a, yeah, a special bottle of Springbank or something, for sure. Tom Lawrence. Hey, Shayla, just popping in to say hi. Hey there. I am super late. Uh, so I'm glad you could come in for a little bit. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Not really interested in super allocated bourbons, pepper, oh, pappies, weller, the like. Yeah, I think for me, I know I'm not going to be able to afford those, so I don't really pay attention to them. Um, but I did have a... A sample of WLW from Mash and Drum, and it was like, I still have some. <laughs> I kept like the, you know, half an ounce I have left or something, and it's it's the crap. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I feel like, I, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe one day I'll, I'll try Pappies. I have no idea. Uh, I'm not super worried about it. Uh, a lens a day keeps the Patreons happy. There we go. Yeah, so Sherry G., we might meet up in Tucson. We're going to see how it goes. I'm really hoping I can get all my crap done first and we can do that. That would be awesome. And then we got freaking Clippy over at the Bourbon Bites going live later tonight. And then we got Hot Buttery Rolls doing a little Saturday night live. Um, Really tasty. Probably worth MSRP. But yeah, I mean, when it it's worth MSRP and then it kind of goes a little crazy because there's just not that much of it. Um. Safe trip, Shayla. Thanks, old man, Joe. Look forward to the lens clips. Yeah, I'm gonna try to try to show you guys hopefully some cool stuff on the way. Um, yeah, there you go. I just buy two Octomores. Okay, guys. Okay, crap. Okay, hope everyone comes to hang out during, yeah, Saturday Flight Live with Chris and Jason Statham. Oh my god, that's awesome. Okay, guys. I keep saying I'm leaving, and I am leaving this time. Love y'all. So, I'll be streaming next Saturday and I'll be in Arizona and we will do a big old unboxing fun thing and uh, then I'll drink some whiskeys that you guys sent me and it'll be a blast. So love y'all. Hope you have a wonderful weekend and I will see you guys 